Welcome to Pillow Talk, where real and intimate conversations take place. I am your girl, Kay Carter here, and today we will be discussing dress how you want to be addressed. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce my panel, Jazz. Hi, my name is Jazz, mother of two, you know, at home, just kicking it. All right, let's go do this. That's All it. right, peace. Hello, my name is Marquis. Uh, I am a health coach and I'm a network marketer and a social media content. All right, Jamarius. Hello, everyone. I am Dr. Jamarius Andrews. Um, I'm an academic advisor. Um, I also own my own business, Yard Cars on the Go. I do um, birthday greetings and all those sorts of signs um, in people's yards. Um, I've been knowing Kanisha ever since the first week of undergrad, almost 15 years ago. Yeah. Um, and I'm just happy to be here. All right. And my girl, V. Hello. My name is Beyond Rocks. I rock, you rock, and we rock together, baby. I am an artist, songwriter, singer. I am also an entrepreneur and a network marketer, and I'm so excited to be here on tonight. Well, thank you all for coming. But before we move on, I have to uh, shout out one of my friends, Lamar, because he does not like to put his mic on mute. And I hope he hears me so we don't hear his uh, background. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, today, like I said, we are discussing dress how you want to be addressed and how this topic came about. One day I'm sitting here uh, having a discussion with a really good friend of mine. And we start talking about the content that people post on social media, like the images that they, uh, you know, put out. And then they complain when they don't get what they want from the images that they post. So does anyone want to go ahead and piggyback off of uh, social media images and posts? Jamari. Well, for me. Oh, okay. Oh. Go ahead, Jazz. Oh, well, for me, I knew post, used to post, now that I'm in a relationship, but I used to post a lot of um, <laughs> risky things and people frustrate, like, you know, thought that I was easy because of what I post. But to be honest with you, I have a lot of, I had a lot of self-esteem issues because of my past relationship. So when I got out of that relationship, in the Zoom right there. I was yeah, able to be more free with myself. That's it. So Stop that's free. what I wanted yeah. to do. No yeah. matter what, I didn't, mm -hmm. I wasn't so out I there how people for, for thought I was yeah. out there. It should be, it should last no longer than an hour, but just listen for. Y'all, hold on. Lamar. Lamar. Okay, he muted himself. Y'all, I'm about to, I'm gonna jump through the screen. Go ahead, Jazz. <laughs> Let me start over. Yes, I gotta start over. No, I heard you. We heard, we heard most okay. of it. But okay. uh, what you were saying, you used to post, you know, uh, more what? Revealing content? Right, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Risky, make it seem like, you know, that probably I was easy. That's not what I was doing in my mind. In my mind, I became basically comfortable with myself because I was very insecure because of my previous relationship so when I got out of that previous relationship I became more comfortable with myself and wanted to post what I post but people took that as me being easy and I got a lot of guys in my inbox that just wanted to basically get me in their bed right but that's not why 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 I was posting it I was just posting it to make me feel better you know what I mean right okay so, so again so dress how you want to be addressed so I definitely think that um, how we dress, and it's not even in situations where it's risky or revealing, mm -hmm. that if you go to an interview with some, some Nike slides and a white t-shirt and you try to pop a, you know, suit jacket over that thing and you think you're going to get the job, okay? Or walking out of your home with a bonnet on. Let's talk about it because I don't think nothing Lord is wrong with us. this Monique said. Do you hear me? <laughs> Dress how you want to be addressed, and people will respect you um, with what you're putting out. So if you don't have no care, no worry about how you stepping out the house, best believe 
people are going to be looking like at you like you boo boo the fool. Okay. Am I right? I'm going to stop you right there. You said right. something that stuck out to me. What? You said about other people respecting them. I think it's more about self respect. You should have more respect for yourself. You can't you say you respect yourself if you go out and you get breakfast. Like, I'll go out to Chick-fil-A every morning for breakfast. I went in there. It was a group of three girls, hair matted all over their head. One had on a bonnet, just like they rolled out of bed. You don't right. respect yourself if you go out in public like that. So it's not even about so much of others. It's about respecting yourself. So right. Right. I have to disagree. I wouldn't even go that far. It's not about even other people respecting you. Right. I'm going to disagree. I do. Like, I'm sorry. I'm a bonnet okay. wearer at the airport. I don't care. Um, so would you go to I wait, wore, wait, no, no. I wore the- in the morning with breakfast? What about Amber well, why don't Wait, Jazz. Okay, why don't you care? Because I feel the yeah. same as Jamarius. Come out the house <laughs> presentable. Okay, mm-hmm. we know that yeah. bonnet should be worn in the house. I understand yeah. if you got run down to the car, run back up, you just rolled your hair. <laughs> but to like mm-hmm. roam around freely with it. So tell mm-hmm. us why you think it, you know, that it's okay. Because I'm going to dress to impress the people I want to impress. When I'm going, like, for instance, I'm not going to lie, I've been to my son's preschool to drop him off in the same shit that I went to sleep in. Okay? okay. And I just threw some fucking pants on. Because right. I don't care to impress them. Mm-hmm. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm paying you my money for my son for preschool. So I don't care to impress you. Take my son. Yeah. I'm catching this flight to where I'm going to be impressive. I don't give a damn who's at this goddamn airport. Because you ain't right. going to... I'm not going to... Have my hair be messed up because I'm probably gonna fall asleep on this plane to impress people I don't even care to impress. That's Wait, my okay. take Keys. on it. You say that, okay? Keys. Okay, Marquise. But I mean, you know, I completely understand that. Like, you know, you get to a level of comfort. Like, you know, like I'm comfortable in my own skin. I can do what I want, and, and I get that. But I think also, if I leave with like, you know, because I got locks, you know, I can have a whole little wrap. But I know that if I take care of myself before I leave. It also creates other opportunities for me because I'm meeting people as well. And I'm, I'm showing people that I'm holding myself up to a certain standard. And, mm-hmm. you know, yes, I'll travel. Yes, I might, you know, go to the, I might go to the pan up the street. But me being out in my, like, like feeling good uh, based off of how I dress has brought more opportunities for me. Instead of me going out looking all, you know, just in my comfortable look, I'm noticing. So I'm and and this helps me now, like like be more conscious of high look. But again, I completely agree. Like you know, no, we ain't trying to impress nobody. But at the same time, where I'm at in my life right now, I'm trying to get that bag, and I notice yeah. that the bag also comes quicker or more opportunities present itself when I do show that I'm taking care of myself even in those basic places, because they're like, oh, well, if he like this at breakfast, then what, what do he do? Like, you know, like, and it sucks that society is like that, but that's how it is. And I try to get that opportunity. So well, I to, you, I to, go ahead, V. I'm sorry, but I just wanted to piggyback on what uh, Jazz was saying. Honestly, I used to chill dress myself back in my day, my younger days, especially my college days. But then when I started to notice that certain guys would say something to me when I wasn't prepared, I said, baby got to be prepared all the time, okay? So that's the main reason I literally have made it my business to be like, okay, if you're going to leave this house, you got to make sure your hair is done. Even if it's not like a whole outfit, even if it's sweat, it looks presentable because I don't know who's going to be attracted to me, not even just in relationship wise, but even like uh, Key said, in business wise, you know, a lot of the times your blessing could be literally a meetup away from you getting it. And if you're not in the position or prepared to speak to them, you can miss that opportunity because you weren't in the particular, you know, space that you're supposed to be in mentally, physically, and emotionally. A lot of the times it ain't even just how you carry yourself in a physical space. Are you even smiling when you walk outside? I have a tendency to tell people on my live at 555 on Tuesdays, Hey guys, smile at somebody you don't know. You never know what that will do for you because it's a lot of depression going on. So it's beyond just dressing. What energy are you putting out when you're wearing what you're wearing, when you're walking out? Are you smiling? Are you positive? All that stuff goes hand in hand, you know, as well. 
with the the bonnet and dressing how you want to be addressed i think um are all of us on here are african-american um or however you want to uh label yourself but you understand White. what i'm saying we black <laughs> yeah, <Caucasian>. I'm <laughs> so my thing is, it's already sometimes when we go out there's already a preconceived you know yep. uh, ideas us. about us so i think about when we go out in public don't give someone another reason to be like i see you See what I'm talking about? I, I Look, they don't like, even care. They got house shoes like, on. They have pajamas on. Up. They have do rags on. What is that? Uh, this bonnet on. What? They look at it like it's foolish. Even me, I wear bonnets, but I get a little perturbed when I see my sister out walking around with a bonnet. Like you could have, or. I've gone to the grocery store where there's families walking around and I've seen women wearing um, Daisy yeah. Dukes with the cheeks hanging out the bottom. And I'm like, my mind is blown, right? So I'm just like, why are people not dressing even when it comes to an occasion, right? I know we've all probably been to church and seen someone wearing some revealing clothes or at the gym and... <laughs> <laughs> y'all at the gym when you see some some camel toes or some uh you know prints with the uh nike that's my favorite shorts. part you understand what i'm saying um <laughs> <laughs> like come on now it's a time and a place yeah. for everything I, you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm a, i want to say i think it's a generational thing too because I've noticed like a lot of old photos um, back when our grandparents and parents would go out to stores and things like they were really like dressed up just to go out to get groceries or go out to right. do errands. And now people be out just looking all kinds of ways. And I'm like, but they were always on it. So if any time a, a opportunity something came up, they were ready. You know, they looked the part. And now I think we just got so far away from that. I don't think people teach that to their kids anymore, neither about image. Because that was passed down through them. Like, they went out dressed all the time. They didn't have as much as us. But they still looked decent once they went out. And we have so many clothes and everything, but we still go out looking any kind of ways. For Let sure. me defend That's myself true. real quick, though. Let me, because everybody is like, <laughs> look. You let me tell feel you like something. You have no. to do I am. But you. let me say something else, though. I'm a mama, too, of two. Mm. So sometimes I'm going to rush the hell out of this house because we yeah. late and we got to get to where we got to go. Most of the time I am late taking my son to school. So I am going to go. I am going to wake up how I am because I need to make sure he's dressed before me. No, we, no, and if I take my time to get dressed, we ain't going to make it to school because I got to get him there before a certain time or they're not going to take him no matter what. Yeah. So there, there's no late for him. He has to go at a certain time or he's not going to get taken. So I'm going to go out and then I'm going to stop at Starbucks after I drop him off. That's just what I'm going to do. So I have a real <laughs> question for you. So on September 3rd, baby's birthday, your birthday, when you go to that airport, honey, are you wearing I'm a bonnet? I'm going to the airport. We're driving. So I am wearing a bonnet. No, but I'm not going to wear a bonnet to that one because we, we're driving to Rotorita. We're not flying. <laughs> And secondly, we stopping in San Diego for brunch. So a, a B is going to be cute on her birthday. Now, when okay. we go to Puerto of when we go to Puerto Vallarta a few weeks after my birthday, still for my birthday, because all September is my birthday. Um, I'm going to wear a bonnet because I'm going to just get my hair done today. Yes. <laughs> wear the bonnet at home or drop the kids off at school because then there ain't no reason why you're rushing. Ain't no reason to rush at that point. I'm going to have just got my hair braided. Okay. I'm going to fall asleep on this flight. Uh -huh. And these is cornrow braids, not individuals. Why? So can it be a little scarf like around the edges, not like a whole bonnet? <laughs> if I'm going to do that, I might as well go all the way through. Why? <laughs> <laughs> if I'm going to wear a scarf, I might as well wear a bonnet love. Because I'm going to wear uh, like we wear the scarf. So <laughs> I might as well do the whole thing. Right. <laughs> all right. So as long as he okay with it, I'm okay. <laughs> Cool. You don't care. So dress how you <laughs> want to be dressed. Um, for guys, since you're on here, my question to y'all is: Have you noticed on social media individuals that um, 
wear, a, let's say, a swimsuit and not at the beach. She's on the edge of her bed. And it's like every other picture is this type of content. What would you say that that content says about that individual? Does it say anything about the individual? The, that, Let's go first. <laughs> oh, you want me to go? You go can ahead. go first. Okay, actually, I feel like, um, and I actually know people like that. What I feel like it says, uh, especially for the people that I actually know, is that they are seeking attention. Um, that they might not be getting attention from elsewhere. They might be having some security things. Because um, also for those people, if I look at their, like, we live in this, this instant gratification, you know, in this, this, this era now where we're chasing likes. And I'm looking at yeah. the people who are posting those photos and the, the, the half naked swimsuit one, 700 likes. The other half naked one, 700 likes. And then when they finally wear all clothes and they chill or, you it know, means. whatever, then they get 50 likes. So they're like, oh my gosh, you know, now now they're chasing because, you know, they're getting attention. They're getting hundreds and something comments, even though like all attention, not good attention. But the fact yeah. is they're getting it. And it don't matter. They, they're getting it. And it's like, oh my gosh, you know, like, you know, and it digs into something deeper as well. And also like, uh, that's what we see who's getting the most opportunities now as well. Right. Like, the people that are actually, the people that are actually showing their bodies or what have you, but it's like, okay, what type of opportunities are those? And the reason I brung this up because for example, um, single individuals, right. Um, that post these type of things and then they get upset when a, a man is DMing them and asking them um, very um, intimate things or being very sexual forward, right? Or not seeming, back. yeah, not seeming even respectful, right? So what would you say to someone that's one, putting that type of uh, energy out, even if it's not on social media, if that's how they just dress day in and day out, but then get upset when a man is not respecting them. Well, I feel like they, well, one, everyone deserves respect no matter what you wear. So that's what I do want to say on top of that. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like, you know, like, like you want to put out cheese and rats are going to come. Like, like you're Ooh. putting out that kind of bait. So <laughs> when you put out that kind of bait, like for example, if I walk around with a gold chain, I'm about to attract this kind of person. We and, yep. And when you're dealing with social media, these kind of people are everywhere, and it's kind of this kind of stuff is like put out there or glorified. Mm -hmm. So, and then also from the guy's perspective, it's like, okay, well, she's just half naked. Who else just half naked? Girls on these videos, girls who's doing the freaky stuff, strippers, OnlyFans yeah. shit. You know, yeah. not saying that this girl is an OnlyFans chick who's doing you know some stuff, but. It's very similar, so we're just like sometimes we can't tell the difference, you know. And I don't. I'm saying we're like like I'm doing that. I don't do that, but I can. I see the relation, you know. Like okay, well, you're dressed half naked. They dress half naked. Well, they also are doing A, B, and C, and something strange for a piece of change. Yeah. Hmm. Do you do so, that too? So do you? <laughs> What do you say to any individual that's putting out a specific thing and then getting bothered by the attention that they're getting? Do you say, well, I would say, how about you change your content? There's okay to share certain pieces of yourself, but again, how with the energy that you put out is what you're going to get back. In all things, if if you're a positive person, you're giving out positivities, that's what you're going to give back. Granted, you might run a, across a few fools along the way, but you will be be what you want to attract. Yes. Uh, I say if, you, if you're going to do it, I said if you're going to do it, be prepared for what's going to happen next. Like, even though that's probably what you're not, not wanting, but if you're going to be out there and you know post risky stuff or just dress risky in life then be prepared for that i'm not i wouldn't tell nobody to oh change how you want if you don't want the response if this is how you want to dress and this is what you want to post be prepared for what's going to come from the other guys 
that are going to be that sounds coming like to the, you. the right solution but i'll tell you right that's what i was prepared naive people out in the world that like i don't know why i'm getting this stuff baby i was prepared so <laughs> i knew what i was doing my like i used to get dick big videos for no reason i didn't even know who they were they didn't even say hi hello what you put out is what you penis. get pretty much <laughs> Yeah. So, but I was prepared, <laughs> and I never were... complained. <laughs> okay, Jamarius, I just blocked. Yeah. Yeah. So I wanted to do, touch it from a different um, perspective. I was looking at um, thinking about how guys also dress up and portray a certain image as well. Like money. I mean, they go out taking. They go to Vegas. They in front of these expensive cars. Got all this fake designer on. They trying to press females with things they really don't have. So now you got these females coming to you and you can't deliver what they looking for. These gold diggers coming to you and you can't help them. You broke. But you ain't got no gold to dig. Right. right. <laughs> you making... Listen, because there's people that not even that they like faking, right? They might really actually have that. But I've had conversations. Y'all know I got a lot of brothers and so I've had conversations yeah. with my friends and brothers. If you're putting, um, worrying about the car that you're driving, the, the Gucci belt or whatever, and you're like, why do I keep attracting women that want me to take care of them or feeling like I need to pay their bills, et cetera, et cetera. Because if you're putting emphasis on those things that you have, even if you have it to give it. a sack it, of money. Mm -hmm. Right. Ears. So Hello. then it's also guys yeah. also dress how you want to be addressed. Give out the energy and carry yourself as if if a, a man is complaining and saying, I want a respectful woman. Well, how are you carrying yourself respectful? Right. Respectable. Or are you uh carrying yourself like a trick? Let's talk about it. Yeah. Hello? Just like your friend, like what what's your name? Jasmine? Yes. Jazz, like she said. Um, a few minutes ago, um, dang, it just left my um, train of thoughts. Like the stack of money. You said what? Oh, I'm talking about the stack of money by the ear. <laughs> no, that's not what you're talking about. Oh, when they be girl, oh. when they be on Instagram, I'm like yes, hello. I do not I accept. Go I'm like doing you're the so most. If you I don't give your homeboy back his money, <laughs> okay? Just one's gonna get all <laughs> one. <laughs> The top is a hundred. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I, I can't handle it. Uh, That's only two hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, but so it sounds like we're we are all definitely saying you know people should put more emphasis on how they're leaving the house, right? Mm. So with no, we're not all saying that. <laughs> you first of all, you're te you're teeter totting because you did say uh you agree, but then you don't agree when it comes to the bonnet situation. No. No what? No. If I'm going somewhere, like I said, like my son's school or something, I and I gotta just get up and go. I'm a I'm gonna do that. I'm sorry. I'm going. I'm when school starts on the thirty first. Guess what I'm gonna do? Listen, do <laughs> I, I, I definitely. <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day i definitely think that um we need to as a society put more um thought into where we're going and what we're doing and what we need to wear on those occasions um i e even going to church um mm -hmm. you know i've seen some things that just blew my mind um about how tight people's clothes have been going to church or um, how re revealing it is. But they probably, if you follow that same person, they will probably wear more appropriate clothes to interview. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. At the end of the day, I think for women that wear revealing clothes at the gym or church or different settings, it's not just saying, hey, I want to look at me. It's like, okay, I'm doing I gotta something stop you. attention seeking. What? Okay, it was B that said this earlier about oh. because you keep putting the emphasis on clothes. I think you could dress up and all that and you can still be just as ratchet as can be. I think it's a <laughs> it's the way you carry yourself too. I think you can't leave that out because there's some people no, dry, sure. dress nice 
and they just is they tack you. They can dress mm -hmm. nice, but the way they care is horrible themselves. spirit. Okay. Yeah, it's about yeah, it's just all over. Like it's just not the clothes; it's what you do with those clothes as well <laughs> from the inside. What radiates out. Right. Absolutely. So I, I think we got to put that in. So I think you can't leave that out <laughs> because no, I think you they, can dress up and be a horrible person. Too. You're <laughs> I'm the most raggediest, dressing, correct. classy person you ever meet. But uh -huh. what's going, <laughs> what did we all hear growing up? First impressions are lasting. So before yes. you open your mouth, I'm looking at you. So dress how you want to be addressed. If you want to be addressed without nobody even hearing about how intelligent you are, Okay, show up looking like Oompa Loompa. Show up with some um, Nike sandals that look like you didn't ran a marathon on a dirt track. <laughs> okay, <Girl>. Marquise. <laughs> For real, Marquise, what were you about to say? Uh, well, I was about to say this exact same thing um, uh, about before you even we will see first, and then like we actually had that conversation later. So. I completely agree with that. And I guess like kind of going back to even like on the other aspect with guys, like, you know, like guys wearing all this, you know, all these different clothes and Gucci stuff or whatever, you know, but also like, well, from an overall view, I think people are dressing certain ways that seems to get more attention overall. Right. You know, mm -hmm. Like in general, a guy gonna, he gonna wear all, he gonna go broke trying to wear all this stuff. Why? Right. Yeah, where he goes in his social circle or the, the social like environment that he he's part of is rewarding that that right. was the attention and that's yeah. how you see it for me because like when i would be with certain individuals back in oakland yeah this chain stuff oh yeah she choosing on him because he got the gucci belt okay i right. got it but then when i and then for one like i started one that so what am i doing I'm at Vegas pool party with the fakest Gucci belt, thinking like, okay, like, you know, I'm in the worst Gucci belt. Oh, Lord. But oh. then when I change my surroundings and change the people I associate with and stuff like that, now I'm really on like some, you know, on a whole just chill mode. Like, like just, yeah. I just dress in a complete different way. And I'm noticing that's attracting different kind of people as well. And right. different kind of women. A different kind of you know just different so and i just noticed that pattern you know and then even like i had to change my mindset like you see rappers and all these people wearing this yeah they deal with stuff robberies and shootings and stuff showing their money but look at bill gates and steve jobs and them right they, like them. they eating but right. at the same time they wearing blue jeans i'm like what yo i want to listen because i wanted at first i was like I wanted to name this topic flaunt, uh, flaunt it if you got it, question mark, right? Because I remember hearing the saying um, growing up, uh, flaunt it, you know, you better show it while you got it, you know, especially with our bodies or if it, you, if it ain't tricking if you ain't got it, yeah. right? Same thing <laughs> with, when it comes to the fellas. But if people actually will humble themselves, dress more appropriate, not show off everything that you have, i.e. your body, your money, or your assets, okay? Then just live a normal, regular life, right? And nobody gonna be trying to knock you over the head from what you got, if that's your nana or you, your bag, okay? But I'm gonna be honest, and I'm gonna be back on that. That's not realistic. We're living in a world that's so superficial. And because of social media and how we've been programmed with television, I don't even know if you guys noticed, but the shows have gotten even more out of control i've been watching power irritation on top of irritation because they're allowing things to be seen on television that i don't even think should be seen like young girls doing things and it's like you guys when did we say that that was okay so okay. it kind of has a lot to do with people just being okay with anything everything yeah. is okay at this point so i think it has to do with your personal standards and you putting yourself around those types of people that have like-mindedness like you that are on your level and you yes. only attracting the people that you want to have in your life. Because at this point in my life, I don't even want to attract those people that I used to attract back in the day that didn't have anything going mm. on. I'm cool. And my fact, I'm not even worried about you not dressing a certain way. Because you're not on my level. Uh, no the topic has to be had because I think there's so m many uh, different avenues and emphasis on 
are yeah y'all know i'm a teacher so i'm teaching high school now but i've seen it Ooh. through elementary junior high kids that they're exposed to so much and i wanted to have this conversation because i'm like how can we hold each other accountable accountable to have a higher standard not only for ourselves the people we're connected to to say mm, no honey you don't have to, you know, walk around with that on. Or no, sir, you don't have to do all of that to get what you want. You know what I'm saying? Be authentically you. And if that's authentically you, because everybody not going to be it, that's cool. Stay in your lane, okay? But I also want to talk to the people that, hey, are they teetering? They're trying to figure out what side of the fence they're going to be on. And we're here. <laughs> Come on on this side. And so you don't have to feel like you got to let it all hang out, honey. Uh, what the old look? I'm throwing out the sayings. What they say, lady in the street, and you know the rest. If you don't know, you better ask your mommy or grandmama or somebody else. But Our we lost is that too, right? Who says so? Keys. Are you saying lady in the streets, starfish in the sheets? What, Shut. What? Yep. <laughs> Definitely. <Bye. Starfish>. <laughs> <laughs> But you That's also too got to realize a lot of these people, even when we think about the music condition, because that influences people, you got people like Cardi B and uh, the rest of these women talking about WAPs. No shade. Nothing wrong with it. But they got men at home. They are settled down. They are not thinking about whopping. Nothing, nowhere. So a lot of it is a put on, you know, um, when even when you walk outside, or even when you're on social media. So you got to kind of read between the lines. I'm a big discerner of uh, spirit and people like your or your energy if you seem like you have a good vibe i'll talk to you and i'll laugh and giggle because it's some people like we were saying earlier you have a suit on but your energy is off i don't want to talk to you mm -hmm. so uh before we end up segue and i'm out of here i wanted to ask uh jamarius and marquise have y'all ever been to a gym and seen a young lady wear volleyball shorts and a sports bra Marquise, I know you have. <laughs> I wouldn't say a gym, yeah. but like I've been to Dairy Queen, get an ice cream, and Ooh. girls be out like that, like all the time. Like that's what they do. Like definitely been at the summertime, they out like that. Sports bras, little shorts. And okay. It seems like it's acceptable now. Yeah. Right. Okay. You feel like it's acceptable, or it seems like it's acceptable? Yeah, it's a societal thing. Like, yeah societal norms uh marquise i i see it a lot i go to so many different gyms all ages are doing it and it's crazy because the first thing i think of is like like are you battling something are you looking for you know because also when i look at those people who's sometimes like not all but when i look at some of the women who are dressed like that their shoes don't even match the workout they're trying to do like it's like Ooh. how you in some high top <laughs> airport ones doing that you know did you leave to come here just because you might want some attention you yeah. know like and so I, I i've seen it you know like you wearing that bra girl you ain't no patent support in that come on you you know you need, not the next. You know what you're doing ah! you know you need double and you yeah. only here doing these jumping jacks <laughs> you right. know doing these jumping jacks. you know because also looking at the detail she got her extra lashes on she got everything else done. So I'm piecing yeah. that with this, with all this. I'm like, I'm equal all this. I'm like, yeah, it, it, it's something going on. Like if you hear more, for, like you probably do want to get a workout in, but it's something deeper that you might be battling. Mm -hmm. Bless your heart. I hope that you, you know, work on that. But hey, you're in the gym. So. I, I never, <laughs> I know, y'all know I'm in the, gym, in the gym faithfully, right? Um. I think as a woman that works out in the gym very often um, with it's predominant men there. Right. Um, so for a woman to even go in the gym and work out, you know, you're already an exception to the rule. You're already standing out, but to come in the gym and showing all this extra stuff, it is kind of thirsty um it's not a kind of idiot i see it that's a lot that's what they want though. i go to that's the gym every week you so know i guess I, think, I like it okay <laughs> you you like I mean, it 
I, I be here. Every I'm fan in the gym is liking it. I ain't gonna disrespect her though. You know, I'm like, I see you over there. You know, you so, can't, you, you oh, okay. and that's why she's wearing it. Exactly. That's why she's wearing it. And that's why she's wearing it. I have a, I have a question not, for the guys. If you see a lady on social media or out in public being very um, revealing with what she's wearing, do do you look at that person like, oh, she can be a potential wife or no. a potential awesome girlfriend? Or a potential that's freak a in a sheet. <laughs> exactly. Marquise? Just call it what it is. Exactly. Marquise. I'm about to knock him over the head. When I'm seeing her extra rebellion. I'm just like, oh, can she be my super slut? Like, you know. My super slut. Yeah, that's honest. And no, I'm glad y'all said that. I'm glad y'all said that because every male that I have talked to and um, they say they they appreciate they looking at it but they ain't trying to take it home or if they taking it home trying to take it home not okay. to mama house for one night right, yeah. right. you know what I'm saying so yeah, they at want the to take it home. Day, if they're dressing a certain way is how they're actually being perceived and addressed at the end of the day so Jasmine and V so if you see a guy uh, wearing his his Gucci slides, and he with the <laughs> he with the with the he money in the projects, and I'm gonna turn the other way. He live in a project, and I'm turning the other way. His rent is hundred dollars. <laughs> I'm going the other way. Okay, okay. No, 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 no. His rent is hundred dollars. I'm out. <laughs> his rent is hundred dollars. He got he, he on section eight. I'm gone. <laughs> I'm gone. <laughs> no, I'm out of there. He got me messed up. I want no parts. He got ten baby mamas. I want no parts. Right. Want no parts. Don't want it. No. V. I'm gonna be honest with you. He gonna have to come a little bit better than that. I'm gonna be honest, honestly, because of of my level up personally, the guys I've been attracting have been very educated on top of their stuff so it's not even enough for you to be having gucci because that doesn't mean anything to me personally what is your mind what do you what goals do you have like it takes more than just her outfit to get yeah. me attracted even your car because your car can be rented like we need Police. to talk about some real things like i need you to, to let me know are you buying a house do you have a house do you own a house, is there four, one house? With the light? <laughs> you know yes. uh, you gotta do yes. more than that Listen, if I see him with his Gucci slides and his money on his ear, I'm not. His credit is 500, girl, run. Credit score 500. I'm and I'll not be honest with you. Head. I actually was that's in a situation clear. once where a guy saw me and literally pulled money out of his pocket and just started like counting it. And I uh, looked like this clown. I got yes! so I'm going to laugh in his face. <laughs> I was like, I turned around and kept walking. Like, why would you even do that? Like, nobody cares about the little twenties you got them hundreds. That ain't no money. Yeah, but also, um, <laughs> where's I, your Memphis Express gold? I need, I need my fellas. I know you're trying to get the waves dipping in, uh, you know, the taper fade to blend in and all this good stuff. But can y'all not try to match these wave caps with your shoes? That's not okay. That's that. Where they even that? Is that a Texas thing? I've never seen Texas, that. Texas, though, Kanisha, that's yeah, you is. said Texas, Kanisha. Is that a Texas You're thing? Texas. I, I, I have don't never see seen that. Like <laughs> I don't it see that. It might be. I don't know. It's a dating for me. I don't me. like it. She's, I don't like it. You're in Texas because I haven't seen much of that out here. You're in Texas. I have not seen that. Whoa. Okay. Well, I'm a like Texas. <laughs> California, nah, y'all been on You in the country. Yeah. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> in the country. During them well, dating we seen that was poked all the way out when we went to that one bar. When what, I came the out to Houston. The rims, yeah, that was all the way out. Like, they could have oh, killed yeah. somebody. I don't even know how they <laughs> turned the corner with them joints on the car. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, no. You all in the middle of the uh, lane because you trying to, you know, turn wide. You scratching up other people's car. When they oh. turn <laughs> but, <laughs> but the point of this, y'all, we have to hold ourselves and the people around us accountable. How can we level up? Um, not even for ourselves, but for our communities. 
dress how you want to be addressed. End of the day. Do but you find it at home? I'm, I'm going to keep working on Jasmine, y'all. So I want to say, I think if we be an example, it'll spread like wildfire. Like, honestly, if you are the person that's dressing a certain way and people see it, they will exemplify that, especially if they look up to you. And a lot of the times people look up to you and you don't even know it especially on social media. You think you got a hundred likes, you really got a thousand. They just didn't want to click your photo. So yeah. I think if we exemplify what we want to see, it'll show more and more throughout the world. Right. That That is definitely the hope and that everybody is not going down this rabbit hole of, you know, the bare, doing the bare minimum, not, you know, pushing themselves to be even remotely better, right? Uh, but thank y'all for coming on. Uh, definitely uh, prove my point about stepping out and having the right energy along with what you're wearing. What, Marquise? Did you say something? It's saying you're going to work on me with this bonnet. Remember how long it took me with the earrings? Huh? I'm just saying. Remember how long it took me to get for you to have me wear, start wearing earrings? Girl, you're going to have to be Yo, working on this bonnet. We in high school, Jasmine did not wear earrings. And it used to bug me. I'm like, you are a girl. I need you to wear some earrings, some studs. I used to like bring little earrings to school for her. Ooh, I mean, I can't just I'm like, where's those earrings that I got you? <laughs> and then she was, you see how working on her. She, uh, now she wear earrings, y'all. So I've been wearing earrings since my grown years. She's not gonna wear body, she's not gonna be wearing the bonnet outside next year. Y'all hear me? I'm setting my ways. Listen, I'm gonna take all your bonnets from your house. (laughs) Anyway, thank y'all so much for coming on, for really, uh, diving into this discussion. Um, next week on Pillow Talk, the next conversation will be shoot your shot. So make sure you tune in Wednesday, uh, 6.30 Pacific Standard Time here on Pillow Talk. But before we go, I have to let y'all know, look at my, look. Okay. Angles, my little, angles, my little, angles. I got this from Target. Hold on. Oh, Can I don't know what pajamas you got at this point. Uh, I have to show off my pajamas because y'all know I love me some pajamas. You heard me. I'll say, can what? you get a sneak peek of next week? A sneak peek? Can you peek? shoot your shot to somebody that's in a relationship? I mean, if you're shooting if your they shot. Not, they, not, they not married. Okay. <laughs> they still single. Uh, okay. You shoot your shot at my nigga, I'm going to shoot you. That's for everyone, <laughs> everybody to know that. I'm going to shoot you. So that's Listen. that's that one. Okay, go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Do a slippery slope. You you hear me? Me? I'm going to slide right back in your you DM. Play with me now. I'm gonna slide okay. in your DM. Jasmine, Jasmine, like right. this. Huh? Give him my man DM. Like that. No, no, no. I'm like, what's your address? What's your address? I need to tell you something. I'm I wouldn't weird. shoot a shot, but I'm planting seeds. Oh well. I don't plant I no seeds it. on mine yeah. because I ain't watering shit, and shit gonna get water. I'm gonna pump them seeds right out the ground. Play with me, girl. Listen. So <laughs> you already know. My seeds are smooth. Double liking your photos, leaving you some motivation on your comments okay. and stuff. <laughs> Come on, motivation. Marquise, I believe it. Real subtle. I believe That's it. why I stay in his page, looking at all the comments. Look, you got six now? What's the six months? You had five. Now you I'm, got six. I'm scared Who didn't say something? <laughs> Who didn't say something? Time, I'm going to leave that with you, boo. Okay. <laughs> Honey. Hey, listen. Okay. All right. So make make sure y'all tune in next week, 6.30 Pacific Standard Time for the episode of Shoot Your Shot. Thank you for tuning in here on Pillow Talk where real and intimate conversations take place. I am your girl, Kay Carter, and I see you next week. Peace out.